Hello, my name is Chloe Davis, and I am a proud Muni artist. I started learning dance right here in St. Louis and was taught by the St. Louis icon, Palaji Green Wren. I stand here now because Miss Wren broke racial barriers by being the first black performer allowed on the Muni stage. She and many other black choreographers, Catherine Dunham, George Faison, Ronald K. Brown, and my mentor, Camille A. Brown, have truly inspired my dance journey. I am so passionate about performing, and New York City has been my artistic playground. However, as a black artist, like many before me, we experience barriers and challenges because of the color of our skin. So now, come along with me on this journey as I highlight the black, brilliant minds that have made great impact on Broadway and have paved the way for me to live my dreams. This is my tribute to black Broadway and black choreographers. I thrive now because you dared then. No black people could sit in the uh, orchestra seats. And I, after going through a whole lot of resistance, threats, you name it, I did everything possible to be able to get on that stage and feel good about it. And I couldn't, I couldn't win them. Therefore, I decided if I couldn't win at the beginning, I'd win at the end. <laughs> proud to present the award to the best director of a Broadway musical. The winner is Jeffrey Holder for the win. <laughs> show The Wiz on Broadway for a number of years, for about five years, yeah. um, seven Tony Awards. You, you won an a Tony for that yourself. A white choreographer, they would say, what you want? Look they, at they my say, face they first. Say, <laughs> <laughs> Look at my face and then, and then ask that question again. But I love the theater and I like the, making them feel something for my people. People fight for different things in different ways. I have, these are my, my sword and shield. My ambition was to become successful as an actress, as a dancer, on Broadway and in films, on television. I never did have any limits about uh, what I wanted to do and where. I just wanted to do it good.
There's something about my body as a black man, something about the way the hips work, the way the world looks at me. I want to say, what you looking at? Well, they came to watch you dance. That's what they're looking at. How dare you look at me? It's crazy. It's a crazy cycle. And then there is the neediness. I want you to see me. It's just really important to showcase these nine black men talking and expressing the authenticity of mm -hmm. black narratives. I just think it's so important and what Terrell McCraney has done so beautifully has really interlaced uh, spirituals inside of it. Yes. So it gives audiences opportunities to look at the past but also look at the present as well. I hear rocking in the land, rocking in the land and ringing the bells. I here, rocking in the land, rocking in the land, and ringing the bells. Headmaster, may I use the school phone? Of course, David. Go right ahead. I know, oh my lord, rocking in the land, rocking in the land, and ringing the bells. I know, oh my lord, rocking in the land, rocking in the land, and ringing the bells. Rocking Jerusalem, rocking Jerusalem, in Jerusalem, ringing the bells. Rocking Jerusalem, rocking Jerusalem, in Jerusalem, ringing the bells. You all have paved the way for black artists like me. I am in awe. Thank you for your intellect, creativity, and dedication, even through all the challenges, to uplift black stories, black culture, and black dance.